first. Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release night. We've got that going on. We've got 2019 Bowman Draft Jumbo, an eight box jumbo. Pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There it is on December the 4th. Yes, I know we need new toner. Pick your team three and we're still using our backup camera. New camera tomorrow, I think. Ray, Double Last Bob Mojo, Indians and Astros. And of course, big thanks to everybody else for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. All right. Let's pop this baby open right here. All right. We're, we're Trim Plus. Brian O's bringing up Trim Plus. I suppose... I don't know. That wouldn't help with the with getting better, though. I think and sleep is what I need. All right. As you saw in the item description, all chrome card ship. No paper, non-numbered cards. Which obviously, numbered paper cards will ship, but the non-numbereds will not. All right, and we, we just did a Super Jumbo a few moments ago. Um, this has three. Super Jumbo has five. This is just regular Jumbo. All right, good luck, everybody. These are all on camera. Yes, okay. Rex saying that's awesome that people are still talking about Shrimp Plus. Well, it's a family show, Rex. We can't explicitly talk about certain things, capital T. This is a family show. Rory, are you gonna are you gonna make a trip to Jaspies? Did I did I catch that in the comments? It'd be good to get out of the the dead cold, dead cold of winter in Wisconsin and come visit, come visit the Arctic conditions of Hermosa Beach. You and Ashley should come out. It'll be cold though, Rory. Around here. It'll be... Uh, it'll be like 60 degrees or something like that. Brr. Oh, one of those trips, Rory. Okay, the one of those... Leave the... All right, then... Yeah, then bring Vinny along, yeah. <laughs> At that point. There's Matt to four ninety nine. Bring Brian O, yeah. J Mo's and Shrimp Plus. Boom. That's a night. At the shop. And we've got Seth Johnson. It's our first auto, 137 out of 499 for the Rays. That's going to go to Jeff Goldberg and the Rays. Rex says if it's a family show, we should all be fighting and hate each other. Shut up, Rex. Nice one, Vinny. That's pretty strong. Vinny saying shut up, Rex. I get it. Yeah, shut it, Rex. What do you know? There you go, Rex. There's your family show. Nice one, Vinny. We got Wander Franco, Speckle. We'll save that. 
pretty big prospect. Not his first one, but there he is. All right. And we've got Brandon Williamson. 68 out of 150. Williamson. Williamson. Why does that name sound familiar? Wasn't Brandon Williamson Kevin Spacey's character in Glen Gary, Glen Ross? Who's got the M's? Patrick Cat Zeke with the Williamson. Who is Brian gonna lock in the last break of the night for us with a uh, with Prism? <laughs> My favorite Bowman name of all time, Death Rage. Yes. Death Rage is great. He's in. He he's got Chrome cards in here. <laughs> you don't talk to me in that way, says Rex, in Will Ferrell's voice. I drive a Dodge Stratus. There's Spencer Brickhouse, cause she's a brick house. Eleven out of one fifty. Oh man. You know what his walk-up music is. Did you call those two plays for Dwight to get the uh, quarter three and the long two? No, it's one of those, it's one of those like, you know, doom, 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 doom. There's Shea Langliers, 135 out of 150. Doom, 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 doom. And there's Logan Wyatt. Logan Wyatt Earp. Logan Wyatt Earp. Remember, uh, remember how good Tombstone is, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know if he's a first-rounder, but there it is. Logan Wyatt Herb. Giants, that's going to go to Calvin and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah, Vinny loves a tombstone. Yeah. You're a daisy if you do, Vinny. Uh, Yordi's Valdez, 250. I'm Johnny Ringo. I'm sorry. That was a pretty great scene. Tombstone. Whoa, Darren Porter. Whoa. Darren saying, D Darren saying Tombstone overrated, Unforgiven underrated. How can Unforgiven be underrated when it won an Oscar? I say it's, unfor I actually love Unforgiven, but I say Unforgiven is well rated. And Tombstone, underrated. Can't have Oscar winners say it's underrated. One best picture, didn't it? Well, it's one, one of the most mainstream awards on the planet. It won an Oscar, but people don't talk about it. I mean, people don't talk about the Oscar winner from 1957, too. 
I don't know. Unforgiven's good, but it does it doesn't have a I mean, what are the memorable like what are the memorable lines? You got to have you got to have good lines and then you don't have Val Kilmer saying I'm your Huckleberry. That's pretty good. You just say, I mean, Unforgiven's just kind of brutal. <laughs> Because it's sad. I mean, what, what scene can I reenact from Unforgiven? You know, like the scene where like her face gets cut up? I can't do that. The face where he's in the rain by himself? Okay, what am I going to do there? You know? The face where the play, part where Morgan Freeman dies? Spoiler. What, what am I, I going to do on that? You know? That's a, that's a grind of a, that's a grind of a movie. It's very emotional. It's pretty tough. Yeah, there was no shootout in the river in Unforgiven, right? There was no mythology. Like, in fact, Unforgiven stands to stands to break down the old mythology of the Wild West. You know, where, where whereas whereas Tombstone is like doubling down on mythologizing the Wild West. The American West. The frontier. There's Tyler Baum. Oh, you just want to turn the pot, Darren Porter? Are you contrarian? Looks like we got ourselves here a contrarian, ladies and gentlemen. A potster. And D. Porter. There's Tyler. Frankie, am I pulling $100,000 cards? No. Well, you know, unless you count that 50 autograph book that I pulled a little while back. No, Jason Jaspi pulled. I guess we collectively, yes, as a group. But Jason was the one that physically pulled that Connor McDavid the other night, which was pretty awesome. Out of 4.99, Tyler Freeman. No relation to Morgan, I don't think. You tell him I'm coming. You tell him that that was a good scene too. Tombstone. What did you say? You say the the thunder's coming or something like that. I'm bringing the thunder with me or something. And then they ride. Not yet, Brian O. Although I'm a little more confident that Connor McDavid would sell for that amount. <laughs> and we got JJ Goss. 006 out of 499. JJ Goss. All right, that's our second autograph of three out of this box. Yeah, I think, well, I think that jersey number on the Connor McDavid, I think definitely elevates that as well. McDavid probably, well, not according to, you know how many phone calls we've gotten about that, that hit, Brian? And the kind of numbers that are being thrown around? The jersey number definitely gives it the extra boost. Exactly, Frankie. Yep. It was forty thousand. It was probably like twenty thousand when it first came when, when McDavid's rookie season. I guess he's only just gotten. He's only gotten better since. There's Hudson Head to 250. So the value of his is pretty incredible. Especially the jersey number. 
And there's Sammy Siani for the Pirates. That's going to go to Ko. Ko Liang with that one. But yeah, people have been telling me that the, the when I walk in there, like the McDavid, it's amazing. The phone's been ringing off the hook. A few different people have been watching the video. Nick's getting DM'd left and right. And we've got, what is this? Orange or red? Orange. To 25, Debbie Garcia. Twenty five for the Yankees, Junior with that one. Mr. Red Globe, what's up? If you want to get the most value, you should get it graded. Well, I don't know. I mean, people are offering that that kind of eye watering amount without the McDavid being graded. Let them grade it. I don't want to risk having it grade out not so well. At that point, Steve Miller, right? Take the money and run. I wouldn't risk it. Especially if you're getting offers like that already. I would let the I would let the person who buys it risk grading it and then make the extra however many percent profit on that if they, if they can whatever the another 10-15% profit. All right, next box. <laughs> right. I'll, gi I'll give him a death rage. Rex saying, but it's not a one of one or anything. Well, that's what I, that's what a lot of people would think too, but when the cup hockey what they call the true RPA is generally outsells like I've seen it happen. If the true RPA out of 99 will often sell better than the out of 25 or an out of 10 in some cases. Connor McDavid being one of those cases. And the fact that it's that and the fact that it's jersey number elevates it beyond a Connor McDavid one of one, which sounds crazy, but it's true. Wild, wild time we're living in, folks. Most other products, yeah, you're right, Rex. It'll be like one on one, boom. You know, that's the. Uh, you know, that's the. Uh, that's the one you want to get, but like in this product that we're doing right now, Bone Draft. You want that to be. Uh, you want to get that super fractor, but All right, I think I see Brian O's order, and that I think Prism is now sold out. So Prism Two will be our last break of the night. Then to the schedule. All right, there you go. Thanks, Brian. I'm assuming that that was your order, Brian, because I see his order and I see it sold out. So I'm assuming Brian knocked that out. Ooh, we got Reese Hines. Well, I'm gonna go with Reese on that. Uh, 15 out of 50 gold. For Daryl and the Reds. You did. All right. Thank you, Brian. So Prism will be our last break of the night. Why are the out of 25 selling for less? Asked Direct. Well, for that particular product, Cup, it seems as if the out of 99s, or again, what they call the, the true RPA, right? 
So not in, so they can I guess the collectors. I don't know the exact reason, but the collectors seem to consider the out of twenty five, for example, more of an insert autograph as opposed to the actual rookie patch auto, or rookie auto patch, as Upper Deck sometimes calls it. So that's just kind of how that world kind of kind of happened. There's Clark Schmidt to four ninety nine. Which is odd. Because usually it doesn't happen that way, but we got Ryan Costello, forty two out of ninety nine. That's green paper for the twins. That'll be for Daryl as well, Daryl Chan with that one. Yeah, that I mean, I would say yes to the yep to that price too. I think uh, we connected him with um, we connected him with one of our uh, one of the the auction an auction guy that we know. What, Rory? R.I.P. Ryan Costello? Are you serious? There's Will Wilson. Is he a free first round? Yes, he is. He's 15th overall, Will Wilson for the Angels. Nice. That goes to Daryl and the Angels. Nice. Wow, are you serious? Ryan Costello, RIP, died two weeks ago in Australia. What, like, what happened? Shark? Diving accident? That's crazy. Yeah, I had on the 18th. Wow. Found dead in his hotel room by his teammates while preparing for the Australian Baseball League. And then initial reports died of natural causes. Or the Tyler Skagg situation. Uh, tanks, are, are you guys running Bowman all night? No. <laughs> if, if, we were, if we had ro robots, that'd be awesome. I'm just one man. There's Grant Gambrel, green to 99. Now, unfortunately, well, Nick went on, I think Jason went on early tanks to try to get as much of this stuff out of the way. And then, then I'm here to take care of the next part of the day. We've reached the end of our day, I'm afraid. There you go, Brian. Oh, yeah, tanks but no tanks. That's how the, uh, I guess, that's how, uh, if you had an Irish accent, perhaps, you would, you would say tanks instead of thanks. And we've got old Docs, Docs Akis, John Docs for the Rays. That'll go to Jeff Goldberg. I feel he tanks. We'll 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 get on that. Uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll get on that tomorrow. All right, we got Justin Slayton, 250, purple paper. Ryan Ruff, ever run into someone from Storage Wars? No, not yet. <laughs> Who would I want to meet? Storage Wars. Maybe the guy that says, "Yep." I want to meet that guy. What about? I like the uh, I like the old guy from the original show with the 
The old dude, the older dude. Oh, I see. Brian, Brian O, a Brandy fan? I can't believe... Well, maybe I can. I can't believe they're, like, they're still in business. I, I, I think that... I think a lot of the show... Like a lot of reality shows is... Is kind of rigged, but. Um, Vinny's met some met the guys from American Pickers. In what context? And Ryan's like, I'm watching American Pickers right now. Love American Pickers. That's a great show. They're picking it. I'm sure. Well, I I think I think American Pickers is a little less rigged. You know, they get they probably get to vet the clients that they're visiting first. I think the only thing that's rigged in American Pickers is like the spontaneity of it. It's just like, hey, I got a guy down the street, but they've probably been talking to the guy down the street for a while. Oh, you live there and they would come over from time to time in Iowa, I see. Is the shop or have you been to that shop? Is the shop cool? I think they have one in Tennessee too, don't they? Be fun to pop into the store and be like, hey, I saw that on the show. Sure, I, I'll buy some old gasoline globes. You know, for you, I want some of those. The storage units were set up. Well, I mean, it's a reality show, Rex. I mean, they're they're all set up. Every single reality show is. I mean, that's the whole point. Uh, a show like Storage Wars, obviously, you had to have. There's no way they're getting that lucky to like bust that open. Thankfully, we're not a reality show, Darren Porter. We are. We are a live broadcast, or live to tape, as they call it when we record these. They call it live to tape in the industry. Vanilla Grill saying, Washington, D.C. is fake. That, it is what it is. I, I don't know why Vanilla Gorilla seems compelled to insert. Here we are just having a good time, and here's Vanilla Gorilla going, you know what's fake? People in the Capitol. It's a downer, Vanilla Gorilla. Easy. Relax. We're just talking about TV shows right now. You don't have to swing it all the way over to that. Oh, Redemption? Any guesses on those? It's the first re Redemption I've seen. Is Hunter Bishop the Redemption? That's what Rory is saying. And there's Dodgers, Michael Bush. 136 out of 150 for my boys in blue. EA. Eric with my Dodgers. There you go, Eric. First round pick, or actually late first round, compensatory pick in between the first and the second round. Especially these last 
That's right, Darren Port. It's a nice bush. Michael Bush, that is. There's Cooper Johnson to 150. Vanilla Gray, you need a hundred thousand dollar card. You got to join more breaks than Mike. I can give you that shot. You know the person who got it joined a number block. I just I learned earlier today. So just have to put yourself in positions to uh, to succeed. Yeah, just like LeBron said, put, put people in position to be successful. Put yourself in position to get a $100,000 car. There's Jackson Kowar, purple paper to 250 And if it's a number block, the Connor McDavid was a jersey number, 97 out of 99. So that person was probably thinking, seven? Come on, seven's a terrible number. Well, not anymore. Rex saying, I don't know much about the draft this year. I know two Cubs names. I was Rex, I was counting on you to like give me the 411 on all of the Cubs guys this year. I thought you were going to be the guy. Yeah, it was very cool. To see Jaspies, Jason and Jaspies pull that. We've, we've been on a pretty lucky streak over the last few months since we moved into this new shop. New shop mojo, I guess. We pulled the 50 auto book. Remember that one box of immaculate collegiate basketball that we got? We got the Zion one of one Duke logo autograph, which is pretty awesome. And then Jason pulls that Connor McDavid last night. Zach Thompson, 22 out of 99. Cardinals, Keith with the Redbirds. Chilo saying LeBron so successful he walks carry and double dribbles not have anything called. That's not just LeBron, you know that, right, Chilo? You know that's all of basketball now. I don't think you want to watch a game where they're actually calling every single travel, carry and double dribble. You'd be stopping the game every second. If that's the kind of basketball that you want to watch, then you see that video. You can do. Are you serious, Sheila? Gay? Okay, are you serious? You can find the same videos for Kobe, for Jordan, for Allen Iverson, for James Harden, for Steph Curry. Everybody. Kawhi. Everyone does it. As far as the whole NBA, it's too hard for me to say that. I know Jersey hangs in the Raptors and Chicago as well. Those are two destinations that I know means a lot probably in his history. But as far as the whole NBA, at some point, you can't. I mean, listen. He's. I'm looking at it right now. He's just walking the ball up the court. Like you want to. Call every one of those ticky tack fouls. It's like holding in football. You want to? Do you want? Do you want them to call every single holding call? Because then everything will stop. Every play, there'll be a holding call. There's Kyle McCann to four ninety nine. I'm watching it right now. They're replaying the post. The Lakers post game guys are laughing about it. I don't know. I mean, I'll let I'll let that slide. You know. Out of two fifty, Bryson Stott for the Phillies. I don't know. You can't call everything. All right, your redemption behind Vince Fernandez. Isn't Vicente Fernandez like an old uh, 
old Mexican music legend. You are due to receive a Chrome draft pick autograph of, no parallel, of H. I think Rory was right. Hunter Bishop. Hunter Bishop is, where, did, where was he picked? Your 10th overall pick by the Giants. And that will go to Calvin. And San Francisco. Out of Arizona State. So college players, you might see him a little bit uh, a little bit earlier than some of the high school players. No, not Bunter Hishop. That's a different player, Brian O. All right. Now we have four boxes to go. We've got another about 36 minutes or so in this one. And coming up after this will be a quick number block. And then Prism 2. Prism 1 did happen, Jason. That, uh, that happened earlier. That video is up. You can look at our list of videos. I like the Santa back there. There he is. All right. Anyone want to place bets on how many games the Orioles will lose next season? What's the line, Rex? Brian, you got more fun Milwaukee. We got we got 40 more minutes to go. So if you got more fun Milwaukee Bucks facts, I'll do it. But you have to give me a line. Yeah, the Rex saying the Warriors always have the worst record in baseball. You give me a line though, and then we can then we can see whether we take the over or under on that. All right, Brian O says Giannis has 278 straight games with an assist, and didn't have one tonight. <laughs> Selfish. Brian, that's just what a selfish player. Over under 105 losses for the Orioles. Is that an actual line? That's that sounds like a good line. <laughs> I would say under. 105. That's a lot. How many did they lose last season? It's hard to lose 100 and over 100 games. Ooh, they lost 108 last year. Oh. Detroit lost 114 games last year. I would say I would say under though. I think they lose. There's Josh Wolf for the Mets. That's for Austin. I would say under though. I say they lose uh, 99 games. Vinny was listening to Bucks, Milwaukee Bucks. We got a lot of Bucks fans here, folks. Uh, Bucks post game radio tonight. They had people call and predict how many games they will win this season. One guy said 69, and the radio host just goes, Nice. Nice. There's Tyler Freeman to 250. I went o over on the Royals last season. Gilo. 
but they disappointed me. They won 59 games. I think the the win total was like 67, 65. And I was like, the Royals can win 70 games. There's Isaiah Campbell to 499, but they did not, which was sad times. I thought they had that they had kind of a they would approach games a little bit differently, use more of the speed angle. But then I realized those guys have to get on base too, and that didn't work out. Their bullpen was a little rough too. There is Matt Walner for the Twins. Daryl with the Twins. What are the Twins gonna do this offseason? They need a lot of work, right? They gotta they gotta get uh they gotta get some starting pitching there. Because you know their offense isn't gonna have like a record setting season like they did last year with all those home runs. I don't know. They're gonna hit home runs, but I don't think that's gonna be repeatable. They gotta get pitching. They they kept Billy Hamilton for too long. Dude could not hit, yeah. Billy Hamilton probably destined to be a pinch runner from here on out. I get so freaked out during the holidays. It's stressful being a cookie. So I wrote to Honda for help. Hi, we got you an emotional support cookie. Today we helped release some stress. And during Happy Honda Days, we can help you too. With a great deal on a reliable, award-winning Honda. Right now you can use the 2019 CRV LX for just $249 a month plus tax. And Honda was named 2019 Best SUV Brand by U.S. News and World Report. Twins are going to be single just like you, Brian? No, I'm not sure I understand that reference. Yeah, it's going to be okay. All right, kids, we're taking off. Were the, were the twins seeing someone? Does that look numbered? Yeah, it is. There it is. 27 out of 50, Franchise Futures. We got Quinn, Quinn Priester. Yeah, Quinn, Quinn Priester and Sammy Siani. There you go, Pirates. That's for Co. Rex, so you think why Bowman? Think that's why Bowman Chrome is so full of pitchers. The MLB is struggling. Good pitching. Other hope flooding it, hoping that one about one of the hundred players, maybe two or three good ones. Not sure. I'm not sure about that. There's also teams are drafting pitchers. So I guess it's not not necessarily tops who determines. I guess they are determined, but I mean, if people are drafting more pitchers, you're gonna find more pitchers in the product. Jarrett in Minnesota. Jarrett is saying Twins are irrelevant. There's Josh Mears for the Friars. Jork with that one. With the Friars. Jared saying Twins are relevant as long as the Yankees are around. I don't know. I think the Yankees could get got. Twins need that, need that starting pitching. Without that starting pitching. Wait, what did you mean, Rex? Sorry. I misread that then. Yeah, pitchers, there's Grant Levine. Avril's brother to 150. I don't think that, uh, yeah, for some reason pitchers don't sell as well. I guess there's there's more pitchers, right? But if you find like a, like a guy like Casey Mize, though, I think will do well. But after that... You kind of have to, I don't know, p p pitchers have to marinate a little bit longer, I think, right? You can call up a, a Reese Hoskins and all of a sudden he just goes off and you see him every day, you know, and you see him bashing dingers. Ooh, box hopper. See him bashing dingers, right? But pitchers, you got to wait every fifth day to see them pitch and their season's going to be up and down. I mean, short of... Sort of like Fernando, who started off his rookie year with like however many shutouts, you know. But like that, that sort of opportunity doesn't happen as often. Hitters, you can see him. You can see him every day. I 
Oh, I see. Uh, that's what that. That's what you. Okay, Rex meant, meant exactly what I said. Then it was. Yeah, there's a dearth of pitching, so more pitching gets drafted. We see more pitching in Bowman. Rex, you saw something today where out of the 65 draft, Nolan Ryan was the only one to make it to the majors? Are you serious? Aren't there like thousands of players draft? Maybe, I don't know what happened in 1965, but aren't there like thousands of players drafted? Paul saying, I don't see any wrenches. Oh, you mean like, oh, on the channel, people chatting? Yeah, we don't, we don't do the wrench thing here. It's kind of pointless, isn't it? All right, there's Jack Kukanowitz. I'm going to go with that this time out of 499 Ooh, and a plate for the Astros. That goes to Ray. That's Corey Lee. There you go. Ray, last spot mojo, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! All right, EA needs some Phillies. Phillies autos. To be specific. Yeah, you got to be specific if you're going to put that on the universe. And we've got Josh Young. That is for the Rangers. I think this is a pretty big name in this set. Where where was Josh? Is the eighth overall pick by the Rangers from Texas Tech. Patrick Mahomes' is buddy. No, probably not. They're a few years apart. There you go. That's for the Rangers. That's going to go to Josh Pruce. And we have, we've got Hayden Wisniewski, 28 out of 50 gold paper for the Yankees. Junior with that. Aaron, what's going on? Trendsetter in the house. Ooh, what's that? That's right, yeah. I kind of love this infomercial. The secret is in the crystals. Ooh. It's Brett Batty, 36 out of 50. Class of 2019. He's got a nice auto. For the Mets. That goes to Austin and the Metropolitans. Nice. Yeah, this Saturday. Should, I'll be here this Saturday, Aaron. Are you going to stop by? National Hobby Shop Day, ladies and gentlemen. Should be fun. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I know, yeah, I was going to... Should have reminded you to not look before I pulled that. Nice. You'll be there? Excellent. Nice. 
Rory saying George, George Young's grandson from Blow. That's a that's a pretty good movie. Johnny Depp. And you got Hayden again. Purple paper to 250 this time. Could make a rainbow at some point if we pull some more. Should be one more auto in this box. Who could it be now? Who could it be now? And there's Tyler's brother, Chase Strumpf, 122 out of 250. Oh, yeah. What's the box hopper going to be? Rex is guessing uh, Bryce Harper. Anyone else have any guesses on the box hopper for bragging rights? Rory's thinking Adley Rushman. That'd be nice. That would make Ken very happy. He's got the Orioles in this one. EA thinking Wander Franco. There's Julio Rodriguez to 499 paper. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Brian O's guessing uh, Trout. Vinny sticking with Ichiro. Even though Rory says it's all top 10 draft picks, Vinny's still sticking with Ichiro. Yeah, Vinny. I like that. Don't, don't let Rory tell you what to do. It's a Miami Marlin. Could be Marlins Ichiro? No, it, it is top 10 prospects. It's JJ Bled Day. What day is it? Bled Day. Nice, and that's numbered too. 89 out of 99. Fourth overall pick. What day is it? Blood day? Blood day? All right. Two boxes to go. I'm assuming some of those could be autographed too. I don't think box hoppers are guaranteed a case. G-Lo. That's the first one I saw. We did a, another eight boxer earlier. I didn't see one. I think they're not guaranteed per case. Rory's getting nervous. All right, six autos to go, Rory. Three here, three in the next box. Ah, Rory says one every, one every like three cases you'll get a box stopper. We do have a sleeve for that. We have the, the four by six sleeves. We got everything, Vinny, come on. We got everything. And if we don't, we just go and buy it. Easy. Boom. No, I love Rory, Vinny. What are you talking about? Let's get that get that hashtag Joe hates Rory. Let's not let that be a thing. I got Rory something a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Rex.
Hey Rory, Rex thinks with the, with this uh, with this know-it-all attitude you have about the hobby, you should run your own shop. What do you think, Rory? A couple weeks ago, yeah, Vinny. Led the last time Rory joined a break, got him something. All right. All right, we got Jared Triolo. Triolo? Trilililio. Oh, lo, 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 Seven out of 25, Miami Marlins, Robert, watch the throne with the fish. Bledley, top five pick, fifth, fifth over, fourth overall, I just saw the box hoppers, at fourth overall, out of Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt does pretty well, they've got a great college program, college baseball program. Left-handed outfielder, we should see him in the majors pretty soon actually, the guys that come out of college, you see him pretty, pretty soon. Pretty quickly. Nice. Cal saying that's huge. Yeah, it is pretty huge. Thousands, Rory says? Thousands. Thousands of dollars, Robert. Yeah, you know what? It looked red on my screen as well. I think they made the orange color a little bit kind of orange reddish this year. I wonder if that was intentional. Usually they're a little bit brighter. But it's like, a, it's like a burnt orange going on this year. So it's not your screen. It's my screen, too. And the rumors were that the Lakers are going to come up and get this guy by the name of Phil Jackson. 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 Phil I'm not going to flood it with Christmas music, but maybe, I mean, it is December. I don't know. Maybe next week. I feel like I'm not ready for Christmas music right now. Wow. Rory saying easy a couple grand on that bled day. Is it bled day or bled day? It's got to be, it's got to be bled day, but bled day sounds so much cooler. Out of one, just like death raid sounds a lot cooler, right, Darren? Darren Porter? Out of 150, Mackenzie Gore. Hey, John, what's going on? This is, and congrats, by the way, on the hit last night. Uh, this is Pick Your Team 3, 8-Box Jumbo 3. There's Mateo Gill to 4.99. And the, there's Lazardo Armenteros to 50, gold chrome. Oh, you know what I should have said? I should have been like, yeah, it, Bled Day it looks looks more like Blood Orange. Huh? There's Nick Quintana for the Tigers. That's going to go to Rory. I'm English, and I'm assuming this, this is baseball. I don't know a lot of fat people here. We've seen, we've seen some fat people in, in, in footy. This is a team that, uh, is Frank Lampard. It's young. It's on Wayne, the Wayne, Ro Wayne Rooney got a little heavy, didn't he? Hasn't quite gotten over the top. Has a similar situation that uh, happened 10 years ago in Chicago. And we hope to have the same type of success here. It's better, better than zero things, Rory. Let's, let's start with that. That's a foundation. A Foundational piece. Let's build on top of that. 
That's right. Yeah, Fat Frank. See, come on. Let's, let's not let's not let's not keep those the fat American stereotype going. Come on now. Yeah, besides, baseball is a sport of the people. Anyone can play. You don't have to be that, be an Adonis to play. You can be short, like me. You can be fat, like Bartolo Colon. That's the beauty of baseball, man. <laughs> Did you really? What did what what did what did old Frankie Lampard say? We got Ryan Nelson to two fifty. That goes to Calvin and the Diamondbacks. Not what? What is? What is your? Uh, what, what football club do you support? Let's see if we can be friends. There is uh, Graham Stinson to 250. And what was the third auto? Was it the chase? Was it the bled day? I forget. Anyway. There's a third auto in there somewhere. Alright, last box. We made it. Looks like we made it after all. All right, three autografias to go. And he said, thanks, he's a buffoon. What's Lampard going to do? Uh, yeah, what is Lampard going to do? Cry to his dad? Yeah, F Chelsea. Ah, I see, there you go. I was like wondering what. I see, you're a loyal West Ham supporter, so you never recover from his move to Chelsea. There you go. There it is, folks. Yeah, you met his, met his dad too at Weston. And how, how are the hammers doing this season? Should I even look at the table? What happened today? And then after the Roman Empire came e. the Dark Ages. Okay? And, and those were the, the 90s. Although Wolves are having a good season, so. I want to, yeah, typical Hammer storyline is each year. Destined to be a mid-table club. Perhaps with a, a splash of a splash of maybe a deep cup run. League cup run, maybe. FA cup run. There's Matt Mercer to 150. The soccer talk directly over your head, Vinny. You got to get into the soccer, man. The game of the people. The World Cup's going to be here in the states in a decade, right? I don't know when. Maybe a decade. Soon. Sooner than you think. Got to get into it. We do sell Premier League stuff in the shop as well. Sometimes online. Tyler Bomb. You know, you pull the right autographs. I get that. Nobody wants soccer talk? I guess not. You want you, you, you want to talk about Christian Pulisic, 
Brian O. The next great American hope. And we've got Logan Wyatt. Logan Wyatt Earp. Jeff, this is Pick Your Team number three. Eight box jumbo Pick Your Team three. Brand new Bowman Draft Baseball. Almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but we don't talk politics or religion here. Not a great gamer, so let's not, let's not do anything about that. So we won't do that. Bryson Stott to 250. Random teams breaking tonight. If it, no. I don't think it's on the schedule, right? I think just Bowman Draft, Obsidian Number Block Randomizer, and then we're doing... Um, we're doing... Uh, whatchamacallit? What's on the schedule? <laughs> Prison Basketball. And that's it. And then we're calling it a night after that. There's Ryan Ze Zephyrion. Zephyrion. That's going to give me trouble there. Uh, Jeff Zephyrion goes to Jeff Goldberg and the Red Sox. Um, Jeff Iveson, if you're talking about Super Jumbo 3, by the way, that did fill, and we did that earlier today. No, I will not be running for president, Rex. No one will vote for me. Also, you know, I don't want... There are things. There, there are things, Rex, I would rather not have public. That sounds like... Also, that sounds like the worst job ever. Uh, is it for a sticker book? No. You guys grew up with those Panini sticker books, and you guys are pasting stickers of soccer players inside magazines, right? We grew up with these. Also, yes, Roy. Why would I take a? Why would I take a? Why would I take a pay cut? Yeah. So you guys grew up with with Panini sticker books, and Panini actually does do baseball. They've got the English Premier League license, so they'll produce football cards. Did I skip an auto? Get out of here, not a great gamer. I'm trying to do my job here. Got me skipping autos. Logan Wyatt. Well, it's the second Logan Wyatt. It's not like we see it. In, it's like, not like it's a new guy. Speckle for Calvin. A different parallel. 26 out of 71. Second one out of the box. So yeah, well, not a great gamer. If you just watch our videos, you can kind of get an idea of what what happened. But yeah, kids like us in America, we we grew up with with base with actual cards, you know. And you guys grew up with those, and the rest of the, a lot of the world grew up with the Panini sticker books. But now Panini, about 15, 15 years ago, maybe longer than that now, um, made a big splash in the American trading card market. And so a lot of the Europeans and people in South America and stuff like that are used to the sticker books. For, for us, they make like American football cards um, and baseball cards and whatnot. There's Victor Victor Mesa to 99. 
Oh, Darren Porter lagging behind. Yes, I know I lagged. I lagged behind it, but there was a third auto right there. Unless I missed a fourth auto. Yeah, no, Porter's lagging. Porterhouse steak. Too much Porterhouse steak. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's your break. Nothing to randomize. Nothing else to do. Perfect. Let's do a quick autograph recap. There you go. A lot of Logan Wyatt's. I like the uh, the Brett Batty class of 2019 autograph. There was the Josh Young. The printing plate was cool. Hunter Bishop, nice Giants. Michael Bush, nice Bush. Will Wilson. All these guys are pretty solid. And you know, you know who knows? Who knows when these guys can turn into something. And of course, we got J.J. Bleday, or Bled Day in the blood orange parallel there out of 25. So pretty strong stuff. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.